Welcome to Storytime with Herbal Roots C. I'm Christine Brown, and today I'm going to read to you from issue number 47, Noticing Nutmeg. Nutmeg is a wonderful warming herb that's often found in our kitchens. This is what it looks like whole, but often you'll find it ground in your kitchen because it's a lot easier to use that way. And you might recognize the flavor of nutmeg in a popular holiday drink known as eggnog. So nutmeg is a very relaxing herb and it's also good for helping us with our concentration. And these are just a few things that you can use nutmeg for. So the title of the story today is Nutmeg Gets Noticed. Long before the spice trade began, the Banda Islands in Indonesia were home to a tropical paradise. The natives of the island had a simple life on their island homes, which were created from a series of volcanoes in the Banda Sea. The Bandanese people gathered many spices that they used in their food for medicine, such as cloves and cinnamon. They had many rich and luscious foods at their disposal, including a variety of seafood and fish. They also ate luscious exotic fruits, such as nanas, which we know as pineapples, mangas, which we know as mangoes, shrikayas, clinkans, rambutans, mangosteen, and nepala, which is the nutmeg fruit. Pala fruits were smashed into jams and dried to make a sweet treat. The people ate the fruits and then they discarded the seeds. Children often collected these seeds and strung them on vines to hang around their necks as amulets of protection and good luck. They loved the scent of the seeds and the bright red net that surrounded the seed. The scent was relaxing and helped them to go to sleep at night. After a while, the children began to notice that their amulets rattled. One day, one of the children was playing by the cook fire and his seed fell off into the pot of fish soup unnoticed. It quickly sank to the bottom of the pot. Later that day, his mother scooped out their soup and the family could not believe how delicious that soup tasted. They had never tasted fish soup quite like it. As they took their last bites, their mother noticed the seed at the bottom of her bowl. Her son clutched at his neck and realized it was from his necklace. The family began gathering the discarded seeds from the ground and put them in a basket for storage. The mother told all her neighbors and friends of their discovery, and soon all the Bandanese people were adding the pale of seeds to their meals. The boy's mother became curious about the rattling inside the seed shell and used a rock to crack it open. The outer net fell off and she chewed on it, noticing the mild flavor. She set it aside and brushed the hard shell from the seed. She smelled the hard seed and decided to try it in cooking. Once again, the family discovered a new taste and enjoyed it in many of their foods. They boiled the seeds in water or rubbed them against the rocks to grind off bits for using in their meals. Sometimes they added the seeds directly to their soups. Over time, the Bandanese people used their pala seeds and nets for a variety of medicinal and culinary needs. They shared their new finds with neighboring island people and traded the seeds for other items they needed, such as silk and linen fabrics, exotic foods from afar, and many other luxuries. Hundreds of years later, these seeds were discovered by the Portuguese and Dutch people who closely guarded the location and began calling the pala seeds nutmeg and the pala net mace. The Dutch continued to guard their location and have a monopoly on the seeds for many years until a French man smuggled some seeds and began growing them at another location, ending the monopoly on them. Today, the Bandanese people still enjoy their pala fruits, seeds, and nets, and travelers around the world carry a nutmeg seed in their pocket or suitcase for protection and safe travels. I hope you enjoyed today's story. If you would like to learn more about nutmeg, 
you can find the nutmeg issue in my shop. I'll put the link down in the description. If you want to have an entire year of herbal learning, consider my New to Herbs course. It contains 13 herbs and will teach you all about them over the course of a year. Thank you for visiting Herbal Roots Zoom for story time, and I'll see you next time.